where I would start, dumbbells. Dumbbells, you can do everything with dumbbells. You can do squats, you can do, uh, if, you get up on, uh, if you get on the floor, you can do bench press. Um, you can do shoulders. You can do a whole body workout with just dumbbells. And they come in a variety of different forms. Me, I like the uh, single dumbbells in increments of, the lighter ones, increments of five, and then I'm gonna get to, say, 50, increments of 10. Because now I can run the rack, I can do drop sets a lot easier, and that's why I like the uh, dumbbells better. But they also have the adjustable ones that if you have limited space, you can put in the corner somewhere. And those are really nice too. I, I've seen them from anywhere from 20 pounds to 50 to 100. just depends what you need for your goals. Uh, the next thing on the list would be a bench. And this will get you up off the floor. So now you can do your bench press and that kind of stuff on the bench. And the bench is also universal, so you can do multiple things. You can do um, some back. You can do uh, seated shoulders, biceps, what have you. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with... A bench and also get an adjustable bench so that way you don't need three benches uh, incline decline and a flat just get an adjustable one that inclines and flats and if you can find one that declines that'd be awesome as well and that would get you off the floor number three would be and this is the last one it's kind of a three you know, all in one you need a squat rack a bar and olympic plates it doesn't necessarily need to be an Olympic plate. It can be standard plates, but I prefer Olympic plates and an Olympic bar. It just feels a lot better, and it's more like uh, uh, the commercial gym. So that would round off the whole gym. So dumbbells, a squat rack, an Olympic bar, and Olympic plates. And I think that's pretty much all you need to get a nice full gym and get a full body workout. Now, if you want to go beyond that, you can, and I've gone definitely beyond that because I have enough space here to get other equipment. Because the whole goal is to make me feel like I'm at a commercial gym, but here in my garage, in my own private gym. So the next thing I would add would be a lat pull down. Now the lat pull down, that, I hate that name of that machine because it is so much more than just a lat pull down. So now you can do your lat pull down, of course. You can do uh, biceps, you can do triceps, um, face, skull crushers, or not skull crushers, you can do uh, face pulls, um, and if you back up your bench up to it, you can do a whole bunch of different other varieties to it. A vari whole different variety of different exercises. So I absolutely love that because you can do so much with just that. And that's the theme of the whole gym is if you can get machines that do multi-functions, that's the best. Because now you're turning your garage into a whole lot more than just one piece of equipment. Like the commercial gym, they have machines that are dedicated just to, say, chest or shoulders or bicep. So in a home gym, you normally don't have that kind of room. But if you don't, and if you have a, like a small room or a garage, like I have here, we're just one car garage, you need multi-function machines, which is absolutely the best. So the next on the list would be a dip bar. A dip bar is universal in a way. It can do multiple things. For me, I like the standalone one because if you get the ones that hook up onto a squat rack, if you don't have a really heavy duty squat rack and you start doing dips, especially weighted dips, the whole thing could tip over and you could get injured. So I don't get the ones that hook onto the bar. I just get a freestanding one. And as well as like the freestanding ones are uh, leg raises. Um, you can do some chest if you lean forward and you can do triceps. So I'd much rather have a stand standalone one. Uh, next on the list would be if you have room, it's not a big machine, but it's only a single machine. It's a calf raise machine. Calf raise machine. <laughs> so a calf raise machine is nice, but now you can round up your legs. And it's also normally compact, so you can push it up against the wall. I have it up on its end to push it to make up more room, to make more room on the floor. So a calf machine, a seated calf machine is actually nice. The next on the list would be not essential because with the dumbbells you can do flies. But if you get a fly machine, now I can do rear delts, and I can do flies, I can do one arm. Absolutely love it, and that's the next on the list. And all my machines, and I would recommend getting them all plate loaded, because if you get things with stacks and you need to move them around, 200 pound stack, 100 pound stack, 150 pound stack, the things just become a nightmare, and it's very difficult to move around, especially if you get a new piece of equipment and now you need to move everything around and juggle things around because you got limited space. So I'd much rather have everything plate loaded. 
Next on the list is, now it's not essential and it's not even, you, should, you don't even need it, but it's really nice to have some cardio equipment, especially like a treadmill, maybe a bike, because now you can watch your movies on TV, you can stay motivated that way. And, if, and the weather is crappy outside, you don't wanna go for a walk outside. Um, just stay on the treadmill, watch your shows, um, you know, you watch TikTok or whatever, you know, and you have fun in your home gym. And you can also have the kids or your family out here with you if you have kids, which I definitely do. And my daughter gets on the bike and I get on the treadmill and it's absolutely the best. So I think that's everything. If you have essentials that you think I should add to the gym or should be in this list, put them in the comments below and I'll read them and maybe make a full video about that. Thanks for, thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe. You guys know the routine and I'll see you in the next one.